Good morning. We are on Wednesday and Wednesday has you doing your spelling activity and your first spelling activity for today is to rewrite each of your spelling words and you need to use a different colour for each of those words. So I've given you two examples here. We've got foreign. Each letter has a different uh, colour and then we've got superb. Each letter also has a different colour there. So it needs to be using all different colours for each of your spelling words. If you've got six spelling words, you can go up to 12 for today. And then after we finish our spelling, we have our comprehension for today. Our comprehension is reading the story, getting ready for the party. So we need to read our piece of writing and then we're going to, going to answer our four questions here. And our four questions, we are focusing on predicting. So uh, it's making a guess as to what is happening in the story or what is going to happen in the story without being told exactly what it is. We need to use the information from the story to complete the questions, but we also need to use a little bit of inferring. After we do the questions one to four, you can complete the challenge on a different page in your English book. So for those that would like me to read the story, I will read it now. If you don't want me to read it, that is all for English for today. So you can turn it off if you don't want to listen to me read the story. So getting ready for the party. Marco, do you want Spider-Man or Batman on the balloons? Asked mum. I went with Spider-Man. I think he is definitely my favourite superhero. The balloons was the last thing we needed to buy for the party. When we got home, Mum and I started to decorate the house for the party. We put up the Spider-Man balloons, Mum blew up them up, and I stuck them on the walls. We put balloons on our letterbox too, so that people knew where the party was. Mum had made the most amazing cupcakes as well, Green Hulk cupcakes, Red Spider-Man cupcakes, and Blue Superman cupcakes. She asked me to get them out of the fridge and put them on some plates. On the food table, we also had fairy bread fruit sticks and green slimy looking jelly cups. Marco, it's time to get into your costume, mum yelled from the kitchen. I bounced up the stairs. I was so excited that the day had finally arrived. I put on my costume just in time. Ding dong, the first guest arrived. So our questions, what is the theme of the party and why do you think this? Number two, who is the party for and why do you think that? Number three, why are they having a party and why do you think this? And predict what costume Marco is wearing and give three reasons to support your, uh, your thoughts. And then after that, your crazy challenge is to create a party with a theme of your choice. And then you need to create a birthday invite for that theme.